the really good things about having your own television show is it gives you the chance to do the things you've always wanted to do and no one would ever let you. Now, I've always wanted to be a magician and now I can be. I've got the top hat, the white glove, a cape and even a magic stick. And I've also got a dishy young assistant to help me along. Michael? Hi. Oh, you look lovely, man. Really smart. Thanks, Paul. Now, I've also got a trick to perform. Now, Ali Bongo has kindly lent me his magic guillotine. So, if we could walk this way. Thank you. Right, now, <coughs> let me see. Just get all this off. Now, just to show you the equipment, what we'll be using, this is it. Now, this blade, and it is a blade, is very, very sharp. And it's made of solid Sheffield steel. Now, just to demonstrate, Michael, have you got the cucumber there? Cucumber? If you could just place the cucumber in there, that's it, to demonstrate how sharp this is. Don't stand too no. close, Michael. Go be careful, all right? Yeah. You all right, Mike? Yeah, I think it must be the heat of the studio. Oh. Sorry. Anyway, yes. so now you really do know that it's sharp. Now, in most magician shows, they usually have a pretty young girl as a victim, don't yeah, they? That yeah. won't be much fun for me, no, was it? You know, I'm not that... So we're going to do something that is really original. We're going to use a, a pretty young boy. Yeah. Put your head in there, Mike. That's what? it. Oh, you can't wait, can you? Oh, he's so full of life, this boy. He really is. What are you doing? Now, we just put the top on here like that. Now, I've got a rough idea how this goes. Mm. I'm not too sure. Now, you can't get out, can you, Mike? No. All Pauline, right. Let me out. Oh, look at him. Pauline. Handsome and helpless. <laughs> 10,000 girls would give their right arm to be Ryan there, wouldn't they, Mike? Some people have all the luck. Anyway, let's get on with it. Now, uh, just to keep him safe through this little trick of mine, I brought some oofal powder along. Now, it kind of protects him, you know, because nothing's going to go wrong. I've got it all under control, don't worry. Just a touch of magic oofal powder, like so. And just to make it a bit more authentic and get you a, shh, get you a bit more fright, and we're going to have a roll on the drums. So, Mike, if you could just give us a roll on the drums, that would really be lovely. Oh, Paul, no, just to get people you know. into the end of things. Oh, That's Paul, it, lovely. Man. Mike, thanks a lot. Oh, it does go the top, this kid. Now, well, let me ladies, don't worry, Michael. Really, I've got it all. It's really, I've got it all under control. Don't worry. Now, what's next? Um, ah, that's it. As I said before, this Pauline. blade really is very, very sharp. Pauline, will you let me out, please? Now, we just place it in here like so, and at this point, it should be just about touching his neck. Pauline. It pricked me neck. Oh, let me out, Paul. You're going to have to work Lovely. here. Lovely. Right, we're fine. Now, so far, so good. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Pauline, let me out. Shut up, Michael. Oh, but Pauline. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Pauline, what have you done? You've ruined the trick. You haven't done Michael much good either. I told you you to make up, you stupid Nick. All right, Mike, keep your hair on. What do you mean? That's all I've got left. 